The movie starts by showing a forest where a woman lives with her son in a house. The boy's name is Solomon and he is blind. His dad doesn't live with him while Solomon's mom is fully focused on his training. Because the life of the forest is not easy and Solomon could not even see. That's why his mom tied him to a rope before leaving the house so that he doesn't have a hard time coming back home. Solomon's mom also taught him to set traps to hunt. They go to the forest today and Solomon checks the traps which were all empty except for one trap means today they got very little food and they take it to home. When it's time to eat the prey, his mom says you know the law of the forest, right? We have to return half of what the forest has given us to the forest. That's why Solomon splits his prey into two and goes to the dense forest with his mom. The rope with him was so long that he could reach the dense forest but could not go inside. They throw half of the prey from a distance into the jungle and return home. The next day, they go to hunt fish, but not catching a fish even after a long time, his mom says maybe the worms we have put in the fish's thorns are small. As he hears this, Solomon goes to the jungle to get big worms. When he was looking for worms on the ground, suddenly, he gets a chain in his hand, which makes him feel shocked because things were tied with a chain. He thinks that who will be trapped here. There was a chaos in the forest when Solomon touched the chain. Feeling this, Solomon's mom reaches him while finding him and starts scolding him that who told you to come so far? Do you know how dangerous this forest is? Solomon looks angry at his mom and apologizes to her and she takes him home. She was nervous. Her behavior tells us that there is something here that she was trying to hide. At night, she tells Solomon the story of a goat which was forbidden to go to the forest and one day when it went to the forest, it died. This story was written by Solomon's mom for him that he should never go to the forest out of fear. After hearing the story, Solomon asks his mom about death. In response, his mom says I don't know where people go after death yes, but I believe that death does not end and you have to believe this too. This was the last thing he said. After that, his mom left the house. Years passed neither did she come back nor did Salman know anything about her. While leaving, she apologized to Salman in the tape recording to leave him and along with that, she also told three rules of living life without which he would have died. The first rule of these rules was that if he brought anything from the forest, then he would return half of it to the forest. Second, if he ever got scared or was in trouble, then Solomon sang the song that his mom sang with him and the third is that whenever he leaves the house, he will not leave his rope. Following these rules, many years of Solomon life passed and he learned a lot. Then one day it happened that when he went out hunting in the forest he did not find anything in the name of hunting. He went to catch fish in the river, but with great difficulty, he caught a fish and because he was very hungry, he ate all the fish and he did not give anything to the forest and as a result, at night, he started hearing strange sounds from the forest. Solomon does not pay much attention to those sounds although he knew that he has broken a rule today. He goes to bed and after midnight, he notices that today his goat did not make a noise at all. He feels strange and when he comes out, he finds his goat dead. In the trouble of all these things, he does not sleep. He had a little food now and today when he goes back to the forest to hunt, he finds a dead deer. This had never happened before, he was thinking about these things when suddenly he hears the voice of a human being which makes him scared because until today he had not heard the voice of any third person except his parents. He was a hunter named Hank who had also hunted this deer and he was asking Solomon to stay away from his prey. When he comes closer to Solomon to make him away from his prey Solomon attacks him with his knife. Because of this, the hunter's hand was injured. In return, the hunter hits his gun on his head which makes Solomon unconscious. When Solomon comes to his senses, Hank was sitting in front of him and he was telling Salman not to be afraid of him. Solomon notices that he is near his house. He asks Hank how did you get my house? Hank answers through your rope. Hank asks, do you live alone in this forest? Solomon does not answer Hank's question because he becomes furious as he called him a kid. Hank apologizes to him and says if you allow me to stay at your house for one night, I will give you some of my prey to eat. Look, it's going to be night and there will be more danger in the forest at night. Solomon liked this man so he allowed him to stay at his house. Hank cooks food and starts checking Solomon's house. Because he was surprised at how a blind man is living alone in this forest. Hank asks him where are your parents? How do you live here? If you want I can take you to a safe place from here. Solomon says I am very happy in this house. Saying this, he goes to sleep. Half the night passes and they again hear scary voices from the forest. Hank asks Solomon do you know whose voice is this? Solomon also doesn't know those voices because he had never heard such a voice before. Now Hank takes his gun and goes to the forest to check what is this voice. Hank went to the same dense forest where Solomon was not allowed to go yes, but Solomon used to give half of his food there every day. Hank, 
who had decided to kill any dangerous animal with his gun notices that a very big bear has died badly in the forest. He was surprised that what could be bigger and stronger than bears who killed the bear. Before he could go any further to check, he felt that something was following him. He runs to save his life and returns home and asks Solomon do you know what was behind me? But Solomon had no idea about it. Anyway, the next day, Hank had to leave from here but he had a whole deer. He says to Solomon I have to take care of this deer do you have such place? When Solomon says no, Hank says no problem, I will make a place where the deer's meat can be kept safely. Just for this work, I will need some things including a chain. Solomon says yes, I know where you will get the chain in the middle of the forest, near the river and it was the same chain Solomon saw in his childhood. They reach the chain and Hank was also shocked to see the chain in the mid of the forest he wants to L now that who is tied to his chain. Along with the chain, he goes to a secret cave. Before he sees the cave from the inside, a fierce bird tries to attack him but failed which scares him and he goes back. They return home with as many chains as they need. Hank sees that Solomon had thrown some pieces of deer meat in the forest he asks him why did you do this. He says I am asked to do this and I have been doing this for years. Hank finds all this strange. He thinks that Solomon's mom must be doing magic. Hank tries to explain to Solomon that the thing you are afraid of may be an animal and if you go and help me, we can easily catch it and kill it and can remove all your danger and then you will not have to give your share of food to anyone. But now the problem was that Solomon's rope was not so big that he could go inside the forest. Hank says this is not a problem, leave all this to me. They had become good friends by talking. Hank tears a lot of clothes and ties them with his rope, which makes his rope a little longer. They go to the forest but reaching there, suddenly, someone attacks Solomon and starts pulling him back. Hank saves him and takes him back to home, this was weird and Solomon was afraid of all this. He says to Hank you read me a story from that book that my mother used to read to me. Hank was also worried about what happened in the forest so after Solomon's sleep, he goes to the forest to check what is there. Hank went to the cave in the forest in which something was tied with a chain. On the other hand, Solomon was also worried about Hank when he left he also moves to the forest to find Hank because of this, it was difficult for him to move forward. Because of this, he opens his rope and so he broke the other rule told by his mother. When he goes ahead into the forest, he finds Hank dead. Seeing this, he becomes sad. He starts crying loudly and during that time, he starts hearing that scary voice it is shown that whoever was in the cave was not a big animal or a demon. In fact, this is Solomon's mom whose eyes have completely changed as if she is in possession of something else. Solomon could not see his mother, he did not even know that this was his mother. In fear, he starts singing the song told by his mother. By this, his mother finds out that her son has come there. As she goes and hugs her son, Solomon stabs her. Solomon had no idea that he killed his mother because he could not see and his mother could not speak. After killing his mother, we see that Solomon's eyes also become like his mother. What happened to Solomon? There was some kind of curse on his whole family. Because of this, Solomon's dad first turned into a strange creature and when we saw at the start of the movie that Solomon's mom and Solomon throw their half prey in the forest, maybe they throw that food for his dad. After their death, this curse must have come on Solomon's mom and then Solomon threw half of his prey in the forest for his mom every day without knowing why he was doing this and when his mom died, this curse came on him. And movie ends here.